Hiroshima remembers the 6th of August 1945. At 8.15, the US B-29 bomber Enola Gay dropped the world's first atomic bomb in a bid to make Japan surrender in the Second World War. 140,000 people killed in or soon after the mushroom cloud erupted over the city. Thousands more dying of illness and injuries later. And so the city came to remember its dead and to pray for a world free of nuclear weapons. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon among the 74 foreign representatives taking part. Perhaps surprisingly the first UN leader to attend the ceremony. Our moment has come. Every year we find new friends and new allies. We see new leadership from the most powerful nations. Also making a debut after 65 years, a representative from the United States, the nation who dropped the bomb. U.S. Ambassador John Roos reflecting his president's bid to rid the world of nuclear weapons. Kim Allen, a teacher from New York, appreciating this significance. I think sometimes, sometimes it does take a long time, and perhaps it's because only now the world is realizing that this is not just something about history, but it's something about now. The U.S. presence seen by many as potentially paving the way for Barack Obama to come and pay his respects.